Hey guys, what's up? My name is Fargo. For this video, I was gonna do a favorites video, but I don't really have any favorites this month. So, well, last month. So, I decided to do a story time video because I've never done one before and I asked you guys if you wanted to see one and you were like, yeah, sure. So, here it is, a story time video for you guys. So, as the title says, I was catfished by a straight guy and here's the story. So, a while ago, like two years ago, I was obsessed with Tinder. I would just like, I would just go swapping left and right and left and right and left to left. Yes. No, yes, no, yes, yes, no, no, no. I don't know. Like, it was a really superficial stage in my life, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing against Tinder. I love Tinder, like, still. I think it's really interesting and funny. Anyways, back to the story. I was, like, obsessed with it. It was Christmas vacation break thingy. And suddenly, I'm swiping left and right and left and right. And this perfection human being pops up. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, a Abercrombie and Fitch model when they were hot in, like, perfection and like almost as handsome as perfect as Diongo, but not as perfect. But anyways, I was like, oh my god, I need you. Obviously, I'm gonna swipe yes, so I swipe right, left. I swiped left for him, so that was a yes, I think. And I was like, damn, you're gorgeous. Hopefully, you say yes so we can hang out. Two hours pass or something like that, and I get a notification from Tinder. Oh my god, you have a new match. And like, you know what? Like, when you get those notifications, you're like, oh my god. Like, your heart stops when you get those notifications, I don't know why, like, it's like, damn, I have a new match, somebody likes me. So, I get on the app, and I see that it's this perfection, gorgeous guy that I, we're gonna call, we're gonna call him, we are gonna call him Truffle, Pella, Prickle, Pickle, we're gonna call him Pickle, no, we're gonna call him Chocolate, we're gonna call him Apple, we're gonna call him Apple, I don't know why, I tried. <laughs> Anyways, Apple matched with me on Tinder, and I was like, oh my god, yay! or nay I think yay so I'm like I'm not gonna say anything I'm gonna wait a little bit until like so I don't seem like desperate so I wait like 20 minutes and then I'm like okay I'm gonna say a so I'm like hey two Y's because I was interesting two Y's okay he's like hey immediately and I'm like oh my god ah yeah that was my reaction exactly <laughs> I don't even know we talked for like a few days before like actually like being like hey let's meet up let's go get a coffee let's go do something you know Maybe two days later something like that I'm like, hey, we should like go get a coffee or something. And he's like, yeah, sure, that would be cool. So I'm, I, I start driving, thop -a -dop -dop. I get to Starbucks, cause this was a Starbucks hangout meeting. Like, I love Starbucks, love me some Starbucks dates, you know. I look really white, by the way, I'm sorry. Anyways, so I get to Starbucks, I'm like parking my car and I get a notification from this guy and I'm like, Okay, what does he want? Like, is it a year? I don't know. So I check it, I check it, and he's like, Hey, would you mind grabbing a cup of coffee with someone that was not me? And at first, I'm like, what? Someone that's not me. What is, like, does he have, like, a friend that he brought? Did he invite someone else? Maybe he, like, couldn't make it, so he had, he sent his grandma. I don't know. And then he was like, yeah, like, would you? And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, is that not you on the pictures? He's like, just answer the question. Would you or would you not? At this point, I was really sketched out, because I was like, what the hell are you saying? Like, what do you mean? Like, can't you just say, hey, it's not me? Or, hey, I couldn't make him, I brought my grandma. So, I'm like, who are you? Tell me who you are first. Like, I don't even know anymore. And he's like, would you or would you not? And then, he's like, I can't tell you. Nobody knows that I'm gay or bi or whatever he was. And I'm like, you're on Tinder. Why? What did you expect? Like, uh. And I'm like, okay, just show me who you are and I'll grab a coffee with you, maybe. Like, he takes a while and then like after a couple like more minutes, he sends a picture. It was this closeted guy from from my old school that like was like a not a bully but like a second hand bully like a second hand like who wouldn't trip you but he would laugh when he, somebody tripped you you know what I mean and I was like bye bitch I blocked him I was really pissed and essentially what pissed me off is that like people shouldn't make fake profiles because at the end of the day you are meeting with someone that is gonna see the real you you know like people shouldn't lie about things on online like people should be themselves people shouldn't show other their pictures that it's not them because at the end of the day you're trying to find someone that you're comfortable with being yourself so if you trick them into falling for you it's not gonna work buddy never lie about yourself because at the end of the day I've said at the end of the day so many times in this video <laughs> 
At the end of the day, people are gonna know who you are, what you like, what you're like, and though if you lie at the beginning, it's not gonna like, it's gonna clash and be like a massive war and people are gonna block you from their lives. <laughs> Anyways, that was it for my story time video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Also, comment down below if, you're ever, if you've ever been catfished, because I want to know your experiences in the catfishing world. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye! Those are the things that I thought maybe just maybe like he was tired and his sister came in his place to uh, grab a coffee with me